Hello everyone. In this video, I want to take you on an interesting journey full of important events from all over Afghanistan. First, we will go to Najarab, Kapisa province, to visit the traditional and famous Chahar Magzi festival, which is celebrated with enthusiasm and showcases the natural beauty and local products of this region. Then we visit Mazar-e-Sharif, where an agricultural products fair is held with the presence of local farmers and producers, helping to boost the local economy. But this is not the whole story. Next, I will take you to Kandahar province to talk about important agricultural projects and the support of the Ministry of Agriculture to the farmers of this region. Also, we will go to Helmand province and visit the construction of a standard transport station with a cost of 10 million Afghani, which has transformed the transport infrastructure of this region. And in the end, we will address the problems of the gardeners of Faryab province, who, although their grape yields have increased this year, they are facing a drop in prices and the lack of a market. In the Najrab region of Kapisa province, a traditional and beautiful festival called Shahar Mags is held every year, which has become one of the most well-known cultural and agricultural events in this region. This celebration is an opportunity to introduce the local products of Najrab, especially four nuts or walnuts, which are considered to be one of the most important agricultural products of this region. In addition, the natural beauty of Najrab is also displayed in this celebration, and many tourists travel to this area to see this event and natural scenery. This celebration is organized under the management of the Department of Information and Culture of Kapisa Province, and in addition to local officials, poets, writers, and young people of the region also participate in it. Malvi Karimula Vatik, Head of Information and Culture of Kapisa, in the opening speech of this celebration, emphasized that the purpose of holding this event is to introduce the natural beauty and agricultural products of Najrab to other parts of the country and even outside of Afghanistan. He also pointed out that the pleasant climate of Kapisa has made this area an attractive destination for tourists. During this celebration, various programs including poetry reading and presentation of articles by local writers and poets were held. These programs added to the cultural richness of the region and the presence of local officials emphasized the economic importance of this event for the region. Holding such celebrations not only helps to strengthen the local economy, but also creates new job opportunities for the people of the region. These types of cultural events show the importance and attention to cultural and economic development in different regions of Afghanistan. As in other parts of the country, we see similar exhibitions and festivals. For example, in the city of Mazar-e-Sharif, an exhibition of agricultural products was held with the presence of local and regional farmers and producers. This exhibition was held in order to introduce and promote local products, especially agricultural products of Balkh region, and its main goal was to strengthen the local market and create economic opportunities for farmers and producers of this region. One of the highlights of this exhibition was the presence of women producers who had a number of booths dedicated to them. This shows the active role of women in the field of agricultural production and handicrafts. In this exhibition, local officials also emphasize the importance of such events to reduce dependence on imports and strengthen the local economy, and ask the government to help increase the competitiveness of domestic products with more support. In addition, efforts have been made to improve the agricultural sector in Kandahar province. During a trip to this province, the Deputy Ministry of Agriculture of Afghanistan announced that the necessary support will be provided for the improvement and development of the agricultural sector. These supports include agricultural products management projects, which have progressed more than 60% so far and will benefit the farmers of the region when completed. One of the key measures in these projects is the creation of suitable storage facilities for agricultural products and the distribution of required equipment to farmers. These measures will help to improve agricultural performance and increase the export of agricultural products from Kandahar province. In this regard, a standard transportation station for passenger cars is being built in Helmand province with a cost of 10 million Afghani. This project is part of the development efforts in this province, which aims to improve the transportation infrastructure and facilitate the passage for passengers and drivers. 
The construction of this standard station not only helps to improve the quality of transportation services, but is also considered as one of the important projects to strengthen the local economy and create employment. This type of development projects is widely implemented in Helmand Province, which includes road construction projects and the construction of necessary infrastructure to improve the economic and social conditions of this province. On the other hand, in Faryab Province, Gardeners have reported a significant increase in grape yields this year, but this increase in yields has not been in their favor due to the lack of a suitable market and a sharp drop in prices. They say that the price of grapes has decreased by more than 50% compared to last year, from 300 to 350 Afghani for every 7 kilograms to 100 to 150 Afghani. One of the main reasons for this price reduction is the lack of suitable cold stores and enough markets to sell this product. Gardeners have requested the government and officials to establish cold storage facilities in each district to store agricultural products and to provide suitable markets for exporting these products to other countries. According to forecasts, Faryab gardeners will harvest more than 330,000 tons of grapes and 100,000 tons of raisins this year. Faryab agriculture officials also confirmed these problems and said that the increase in yields, the economic weakness of the people, and the lack of proper cold storage facilities were the main factors in the decrease in the price of grapes in this region. They have also announced that they will try to build new cold stores in Faryab in the coming years to solve these problems. All in all, this situation has caused great concern to gardeners, and many of them complain about not being able to cover their expenses. Considering the economic and agricultural conditions of Afghanistan, such events and projects indicate continuous efforts to improve the economic situation and increase agricultural production. Thank you for watching.